In this chapter, we're going to create a presentation with Layout. Layout is a paper space program that is included when you purchase SketchUp Pro. So please be aware that this is with the professional license version of SketchUp and is not available on the free version. You can, however, download a trial version of SketchUp Pro, which will include an eight-hour trial of Layout. So in this chapter, we'll send our SketchUp model to Layout, and in Layout, we'll create viewports of our SketchUp model, we'll add annotations and dimensions, and we'll add additional content and pages to create our presentation. To send a model to Layout, you first need to save the model, then go to File, Send to Layout. Layout offers a variety of title block templates, as you can see with the contemporary one, a simple one, and even a traditional one. You can also select the paper size, and in this case, let's select the letter landscape paper size. Go ahead and click Choose. You'll see the title block template, as well as a viewport into our SketchUp model. Let's move on to the next video, where we'll show you how you can adjust the model settings. In this video, we're going to adjust the SketchUp model settings inside of Layout. If you click on the model, you'll notice you get a window. You can adjust any of the SketchUp settings by going to Window, SketchUp Model, which you'll see docked over here on the right. Here, you have access to the different views that are saved within your SketchUp model. You can also set a scale for the model. You can also resize viewports. You can also rotate viewports by clicking on the center of it. And of course, you can move it. Let's also rotate this 9 degrees because remember the model axis is in line with the Google Earth imagery. You can also duplicate viewports by simply clicking on the viewport and holding down Option on a Mac or Control on a PC. For this viewport, let's bring it back to 90 and let's set the scene to the section cut perspective. Go ahead and rotate that 90. And let's bring this over as well. Go ahead, just move that down. And let's clip this off just a little bit. In the next video, let's go ahead and annotate and add dimension to the drawing. Adding annotations and text in layout is really easy. You'll see up here at the top that there's this dimensioning tool where you can give linear or angular dimensions. In this case, we want linear. You can also see under Window, Dimension Styles, you can see the various options that you have as far as precision and units. You then can just click on an individual element within the model and then draw your dimension lines out. You can also add annotations by clicking on this tool where you can call out specific things. You can adjust the style of the leaders under the shape style settings in Window. Another way to add annotations is by using the scrapbook. You go to Window, Scrapbooks. It gives you a variety of elements that you can include within your paper space. For example, if you want a title block, you can bring that in. You can also call out various items within your model. There are also the two-dimensional drawing tools that you have within Layout. And you can use those, for example, to maybe hide some elements within the model.
Adding pages in layout is pretty straightforward. Let's first minimize some of our tool palettes here. That way you can see these tools in the top right. The first one is the Start Presentation tool, which opens a full screen presentation of your layout. The next allows you to insert a new page. Before you click on that, what I want you to do is select one of your view. One of the great features of layout is the ability to update SketchUp models dynamically within the layout presentation. Now, we've all been there where we've created a document and at the last minute we make a change that ultimately makes us have to re-export all of our images. With layout, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is just update the reference. Let's go to SketchUp and let's make a subtle change. Let's orbit around. And let's copy this piece of artwork on the wall. Maybe we want a smaller mirror here. All you have to do is save the model. All you have to do in layout then is go to File, Document, Setup. Under References, you can select the file and you can update. To export our layout presentation, you first want to go to File, Export. You can set this as a PDF. Make sure you go to Options, where you can set the output quality. You can also set which pages you want to export. You can simply click OK, and then click Save. As you can see with the PDF, it creates a title page, and then the sheets within your layout. One last way to use layout is by creating a presentation. And you can do that by clicking on the monitor icon here to start a presentation. Before we do that, let's go to the first page in our document and then click Start Presentation. We can then click through by single clicking on each individual page. With the pencil, you can actually call out areas. You can right click to go back in your pages and you can double click to actually enter the model. When you're inside the model here, you can right click and you have all your camera tools, zoom extents, you have all your scenes, and remember the scenes that we had in our animation? We can click play and it'll cycle through those scenes in an animation loop. Once you click out, it'll restore the view back to the original scene. That's it for this SketchUp DVD. I hope you enjoyed following along and wish you the best of luck in modeling your house. If you have any questions, feel free to email me as mentioned in the author section at db at db-3d.com and you can visit my website at www.db-3d.com. Thanks again and best of luck with SketchUp.